Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd amma ba'd a question was asked assalamu alaikum brother what are the best most halal jobs that involve no free mixing for sisters in the west also would a sister get a sin for an islamic shop where they may not sell the correct hijab or jilbabs but may sell abayas that are tight and colorful hijabs furthermore in order for the job to be halal would it have to be 100 percent no free mixing and can a sister get interviewed by a brother in a public setting in an islamic environment so that's a series of questions which are so important really for us in the west and again uh i can only offer some advice and that uh, a lot of these things need to be addressed by uh, ulama or local sheikhs who have knowledge and can really deal with the specifics of many of these types of situations. So first, uh, what I will say as advice, and that's why I like to clarify it's advice, I'm not giving you a hukum shur, I may give you advice, of course, based on my studies, based on what uh, I know and if I know something then I'll share it so first and foremost uh, the most halal jobs for sisters in the West uh, probably the best thing no doubt for brothers and sisters is if they can do things online if there are opportunities and now there are so many opportunities for those who create it some people become millionaires online so what I say is and this is why I encourage the youth to be thinkers be creators and you know creators meaning that you creativity and uh, looking at uh, various new ways to bring in income and to educate yourself and to advance yourself and to advance your community not to be stagnant not to uh, suppress yourself because that's not what Islam calls us to you know there were women to jar from uh, uh, the Muslims and from uh, Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha was a tajira you know so uh, being a businesswoman, there's nothing wrong with being a businesswoman, and now there are opportunities that you can do that uh, even online. So the best, obviously, would be online where you don't have to worry about you have very little fitna and very little interaction with men. Uh, as far as working in an Islamic shop where they may not sell the correct abayas or hijab, uh, I don't know of anything that will prohibit you from working at a place. You're not the one selling something which has uh, necessarily, uh, you know, has bought that inventory and is producing it. Because when you say that some, uh, a buy is tight, that depends on the woman that it's wear that's wearing it, I would imagine. Uh, but, of course, if it is something that clearly goes against the shara, then it would not be permissible to... Uh, you know, to, to sell something which is Muharram. Uh, as far as colorful hijabs, I don't know anything that prohibits multicolored hijabs. I don't know. Maybe someone can share that with me as far as Dalil, where it is impermissible to wear a multicolored hijab. I don't, I don't know. Do your bias have to be black? I don't think so. Uh, furthermore, in order for the job to be halal, would it have to be 100% no free mixing and can a sister get interviewed by a brother in a public setting in an Islamic environment? And I think this is the reality of when you go into the workforce. Most of the times, unfortunately, and I'm not addressing this to necessarily the sister, but even for the men in the West and in the East, even now in, in Muslim, most of the Muslim countries as well, that you may, you're going to have some interaction with the opposite sex. So again, fear as much as you can and try to avoid as much contact uh, as possible if you are in that type of environment. So if a brother has to interview you, be in the best of manners and do your best to have the Islamic uh, mannerisms in dealing in, in, in the interview. And if it's a Muslim brother, then the good thing is, is that they are, and it's in a public setting, the good thing is he will understand probably if you are lowering your gaze as much as possible, you're not trying to have eye contact, you're trying to, you know, be uh, as proper as possible. So that is, in general, you know, fear Allah as much as you can and uh, uh, avoid sin as much as possible. And the best thing for sisters and brothers, really, is to find 
legitimate ways that you can get your paper online. So look for those on t online opportunities. Get involved in Amazon and these kind of things if that is something you think you have a knack for and have an online store, you know, something. Get, get, get in action and go forward. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.